Some of the biggest shows in London will remain closed until next year. The lights went off across the West End in March and as redundancies loom, some producers are keeping the stages empty until at least 2021. Cameron McIntosh has closed many productions, including Mary Poppins, until early next year. And drastic measures will have to be taken in other theatres to make sure that patrons can return again. The chief executive of UK Theatre, Julian Bird, said the industry costs millions to run and it will run out of cash unless there is change in government support. Uh, the theatre is such a massive industry uh, and it kind of feels like we're being uh, forgotten about a little bit. Um, I mean, just to throw some statistics, uh, I know that twice the number of people go to the theatre than they do to a Premiership football match. Um, and whilst it's great that, the, that football's back, I think we do need to encourage more conversation about what we can do in order to generate uh, more, more money and, and support for theatre at this difficult time. Oliver Dowden, Culture Secretary, said that they were trying to work out the best way to get theatres open again. But is it too little, too late? I, I think it'll be very different. I don't think it'll be the end. I think theatre always seems to find a way to continue in some form or another. And I think the more popular shows like Hamilton, I think at you know, the Victoria, that always is sold out. There's always queues coming in to see it. I think, you know, the, the more popular shows will definitely um, still be there. Um, I think whether it's at a smaller venue or somewhere else, but I think it's more the um, smaller plays or the shorter run plays that might not be there anymore. So if you start seeing the knock-on effects of smaller theatres being shut down, which is happening, unfortunately, lots of redundancies are happening. I know of two of really good theatres that I, I'm aware of that have already filed for administration. Um, once we start seeing that happen, I think it, it's a responsibility of the government to step in because you're not just going to impact the immediate future, but the long-term future for countless young actors and sound engineers and lighting operators and absolutely everybody within the, the industry. Theatres are at the heart of the community and Andrew Lloyd Webber is planning to trial safety measures at the London Palladium to get people back in their seats next month. But it could take months for everything to get back to normal. Not knowing exactly when it's going to come back is quite scary and also kind of thinking how are they going to progress in the future when they do open. Like a lot of theatres are very um, like small and like you know, even like in the lobby area for like um, audience members and then backstage as well, like really, really tiny spaces. So it's kind of thinking, well, how are they going to be safe for everybody as well to go back into, but also really wanting to go back because, you know, it's our livelihood. It's, it's such a big part of London. So. We can only hope that it's not too long before the lights on West End shine again. <laughs>